Hi friends, in this video we will be talking about the reintroduction of board exam in class 10th. So let us see what are the major changes in this new pattern and what is this new pattern. So the first thing is that for uh, board examination has been introduced from 2018 for class 10th. And the second thing is that for class 10 student, it is compulsory to give the board examination. Yes, friends, you do not have any choice. You just have the single choice is that you have to give this board exam. Okay. And the next major change is that board examination would not be taken in your school. You will be provided an other study center or other examination center from the CBSE. Like it happens in class 12. And the next big change is that full syllabus would come at the ending session in your final exam. So it basically means that in CCE you had to give first five chapters in the essay one and the next five chapters in the essay two, but not in this case. From this new pattern, you will have to give all the chapters. It means that you will have to study all the chapters and all these chapters would be asked at the end of your final examinations. And the next big change is that sixth additional compulsory subject has been introduced in class 10th so at the end of the video we will be talking about this additional subject and what is the benefit of this additional subject class 6 to class 9 will follow the same pattern and only difference they will have from class 10th is that they will not have to give this board exam their exam would be conducted in their respective school only and for them also full syllabus will come at the ending session in their final exam so let us know what is the official notification and that has been released by the cbsc so friends this is the full official notification you can pause the video and read the full notification we will be just checking the main important points in this notification so this is the main part of the notification and in this we can see that you have language one language two science math social science and this six additional subject so this is the pattern for class 10 each subject would be of 100 marks so let us see how it is calculated so suppose you have one subject that is maths of 100 marks so at the end of the year you will have to give an exam and that would be of 80 marks and that exam would happen not in your school in any other school and that paper would be coming from CBSE not from that school or your school so that exam would be of 80 marks and the next thing is that the rest 10 marks you will be getting from the average of three tests that would be taken in class 10th if you are in class 10th three tests uh, three tests would be taken and all those tests would be of 10 marks and suppose in the first test you get eight marks in the second test you got nine marks in the third test you got seven marks so the best two marks would be taken and they and their average would be calculated and that would be given to you out of 10 so I hope this thing is clear that you will be giving uh, an exam uh, that would be of 80 marks and the next 10 marks you will be getting from your periodic test and the next 5 marks will be for your notebook submission and the last 5 marks will be called as subject enrichment activity. So basically these 20 marks would be provided from the school side and this 80 marks would be provided from the CBSE side. So this total makes complete 100 marks this pattern would be followed for each of these six subjects listed here so first subject compulsory would be english that would be language one and language two can be hindi french german or any other language that is uh, that is uh, that your school is providing to you so i hope friends this pattern is clear to you if this pattern is not clear to you i have made a separate video in hindi so you can also watch that video let us see what is this sixth additional subject so this is the full notification you can check or pause the video or you can read this full notification this is the notification for the additional subject it was released on 9th march 2017 and this notification says that all the students who will be giving board examination in class 10 they will have to compulsory give this additional sixth subject exam and that would be uh, calculated as additional and this is the list of the subjects which you will have to study so it basically means that in all the subject you just have to choose any one that your school is providing and you will have to give an exam of 50 marks at the end of your year 
along with your board examination so this 50 marks would be from your theory and the next 50 marks would be calculated from your practical marks and the main thing which we have to know is that 33 percent is the passing marks in both of these cases so this is the list of the subjects you just have to choose which you like the most friends the best benefit or we can say the best part of this six additional subject is that if any of the student fails in any of the three elective subjects that is your science maths or social science then it will be replaced by that vocational subject that is your sixth subject and the result of class 10th board examination will be computed accordingly but however if a candidate desires to appear in that failed subject he may appear during uh, a long time with the compartment examination so basically it means that in any of the three subjects that is science maths or social science if you unfortunately are not able to pass that subject then if you have given that six subject then you will be considered as whole pass so that six subject mass will be calculated in your that field subject and though if you wish to give that uh, re-exam of that subject in which you are failed you can also give that exam again as a compartment exam so friends this is the best benefit of the additional subject so friends i hope all your doubts are cleared regarding the class 10th board examination and though if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section and i will be happy to reply you as soon as possible and we also have an whatsapp number this is the whatsapp number that is 92898828878 and friends you can also ask your doubts on this whatsapp number you just have to do do that you have to write your name uh, your class your school name and your address and then you have to send the message and then i will reply to your query so friends if you like the video do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe our channel maths and more we have many videos of class 10th and class 9th academics that is of maths and science both thank you